died on me, twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? Sure. Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Okay, girl. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool, always complaining. But does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away. Aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage for me has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit, he was a fine animal. Loyal, smart, brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Kicked his hide too as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh yeah? Hey, we can't walk your horse back. Come on! Ouch. I was saying something. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. <coughs> so, you live at Emerald Ranch then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. Delights in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the window sometimes. When I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. Found an old saloon there, all shut down now. But I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains. Something definitely happened there, but I couldn't figure it. Just an uncomfortable feeling to the place. Either way, it's time I left. Especially now I lost that poor horse. I'll collect my belongings and be on my way. Back home? I guess. I bet my husband's right where I left him, bottle in hand. We're getting close now. Uh, good girl. All right, girl. Here we go. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. Please, take this as my way of thanking you. <laughs> Appreciate it. <sighs> what a lousy day. It's okay, girl.
Welcome back, mister. All right, take a look. Gentle with that. Trust me. All yours. Yep. Okay. Nice. I just hope nobody's missing this too much. See you around. Miss Millet, the ranch maid. You know where I can find her? Lily. Just over there by the store with Cooper. over by the store. Hey, you're okay, girl. Any idea of the whole I'm in? Oh, come on! Why's it always gotta be such a goddamn performance with you? Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Don't you take that tone with me. I thought you said you loved I me. I do. I do. But what I get paid ain't enough for one person, let alone two. Your money's got to be your problem now. The only problem I got is this bleating going on in my ear. Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then, I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lesson in damn murder. Son of a bitch.
Leave me alone, hey, won't you? you? You've got the debt. I didn't steal that. It's a debt. Oh, damn it. What do you want? I've got nothing to say to you. I've had it with you now. Ah, oh, damn! Ain't my concern, no, sir! All right, fine. I'm out of here. Just gonna just... Oh, hell! Hey! This is a big mistake. Hey, stop! You ain't scaring nobody. Well, I'm not being what the world? about this. Yes, Hurry man. up. I'm not being clear about this. Fine. Fine. Have it now. Oh, come on. Oh, shut. Got it? As you know, Ain't huh?
Chick Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, get back here. You owe us money. Yeah. But it's hidden. Untie me, and I'll tell you where it is. You're no place to bargain, boy. Just untie me, I'll tell you. Okay, okay. There's a map. It's in my pocket. God dang it. This map will take you to the money. Lucky I ain't taking your teeth as well. This is real uncharacteristic.
show up now. Stay here, girl. Yep.
That's a fine horse. Ah, are you okay? Chelonianism, no less than the recent rediscovery of theology. <laughs> Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. 
The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? I don't know. <sighs> Safety? Safety and meaning? <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Come on, Jamie! Your sister's worried about you! This is none of your damn business! Sorry! They're just using you! Telling you what you want to hear! What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Stop! Let's talk about this! I don't have to answer to you! Now, come on! That's a good girl. Damn it, we gotta do this the hard way! You pop up out of nowhere? Alright, girl. Come on, you ain't stupid! You can see this is crazy! You're all right, girl. For Christ's sakes, Jamie, just hold up a minute. I was doing just fine by myself. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, mister. What are you going to do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? They're my friends. Yeah. If you don't leave me alone, I'll shoot you. I swear it. What are you talking about? You ain't no killer! You don't know who I am! Morgan. Leave me alone! Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone!
I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Now calm down. Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. She told me. So the door's open, so to speak. That's all in the past. Different people now. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Make it quick, or I might run off again. Good job, girl. <laughs> You're nervous about seeing her, aren't you? You're all right, girl.
father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. I got real bad nerves. I can't work.
ending, Arthur. How things? Well, still alive. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan! Mr. Pearson? Quite a country. Quite a country. You know, sometimes I'm glad I left the Navy. Too many men. <laughs> Too many men. This world? Far more genteel, huh? <laughs> I never figured running in a bunch of outlaws would be the genteel option. <laughs> well... I've seen things, sir. I've seen terrible things. How are you? Not so good, I'm afraid. Sorry. Oh, I hope you bled that out. Good evening, Arthur. You know, these hides and furs can also be done up into coats and boots and such. Beyond my skills, but there's a trapper that travels around these parts, Canadian feller, skilled tanner. He can make just about anything. You should drop in on him sometime. Yeah, yeah, I know. Thanks, Pearson. Just in time, Mr. Morgan. Look at you now, living the dream. Or the nightmare, depending on the day. Indeed. Hi there, Arthur. You okay, Abigail? Settling in. Good.
our captain had a theory. Hey! He said a lit fire would just bring the engines on us that much quicker. But your only problem was, no fire brought the wolves on us. Yes, sir. So there we were at night. Either cold and frightened of the wolves, or warm and frightened of the Indians. And I could never figure out what frightened me more. All right. I know what you boys are thinking. Why there? Sorry, girl. with the holler. Oh. Oh. I got bit. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. I need medicine. Or a siphon. Oh. 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 oh, come on. Here. I'm gonna die if Grim you don't dash. help me. Oh. 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 Medicine? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh. Oh, you saved my life. I owe you. Got that right. I do. Now, I, I gotta get out of here. Oh, God. Don't much like it around here no more. Glad I could help. Keep your eyes on the ground, huh?